Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again with some news from Metro PCS. Now, it's been a while since I've been talking about new deals from Metro PCS. That's because they have not came across no deals. But here what I'm talking about is some more switch a and to get a free phone from Metro PCS. And some of these phones might apply to you. Some of them might not apply to you. So we're going to get right into those phones and, um, you know what I'm saying, see what they're about. Once again, my name is EJ Uno. This is my channel. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And let's get right to it. So Metro PCS just released two new phones about a week or a half ago. One of them is the Motorola Moto G P Pure. Now, it says this phone is to have a 6.5 full HD plus max visual visual display. And it is coming in at a retail at $159. But when you switch to Metro PCS, you can definitely get this phone for free. Now, if you see the pictures above, now this phone is it, it's it's a little bit it's it's okay. I have saw um pictures of this phone before it came out. And um, just wanted to say that, okay, it's it's pretty decent. Um, it has a 4,000 milliamp battery. It has a 13 megapixel dual camera on the back of it. And um, I'm kind of familiar, kind of thinking, trying to see like if it has a fingerprint reader. And let's go down it. So it has a 6.5 full HD plus max visual display. It has a 4,000 milliamp battery, a 13 megapixel dual camera system. It comes with a, the MediaTek. 625 uh, um, octa core processor it does have a fingerprint reader and a, a facial recognition that you can use now i don't know if the fingerprint is on the side i think it, i think it, it is on the back of it if i would guess and um now now they're saying that you can get this phone for free when you switch from a different company so if you come from metro you got to be with basically any company that is doesn't run the t-mobile network and then you can get this phone for free now, um, it is saying that, you know what I'm saying, it says access to your fingerprint, your fingertip, or with glance. Okay, so it is unlocked. Okay, so I'm, it's saying, it's pointing to the screen. So I don't know if it's on screen or what. It says it is. I'm not sure. Oh, fi fingerprint access. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm, I'm, I don't think this is. Because usually to have a fingerprint, you got to have like an OLED or um, um, an AMOLED display. I don't think this one does, so I'm trying to figure out what this one is. It is a 20 by 9 ratio phone, so it, it will be longer. And uh, let me see. So it has a battery of 4,000. It has a 13 megapixel dual camera. So I want to say both of the cameras on the back are both two 13 megapixels, and it does come in a headphone jack. Uh, just let, let's play a little, a little video of it. It's, it um, see what this thing is about. And... Um, so, let's get into it. So, it does look pretty, I gotta say, it does look pretty decent. I'm not a big fan of the, the bezels on it, but it does look all right. It does have a two, uh, up to two day battery life, but in, right now, everybody says it's, everybody got two, uh, two day battery life, but you know what I'm saying? That's up to the user of the phone or how much you're gonna use the phone. So, um, so the camera thing was pretty cool. I'm I'm really interested on where this fingerprint sensor is. Got the LED flash. Okay, so the fingerprint sensor is on the back of it. Okay, so got that right there. Okay, so that's okay. So it's on the back of it. So that's so that's cool though. So yeah, so if um if you're a Motorola fan, which I I want to say first of all, let me just get to the RAM. I don't know the RAM of it, but I do know the internal storage of it is 32. Now that might be like I mean. To tell you the truth, guys, I, me personally, I would pass on this phone just because it's a 32 memory. Now, I don't even know if this thing even supports SD card. I'm assuming it does, but 32 megapixel camera. Oh, I mean 32 mega, 32 gigabytes of memory. Uh, I, I, I couldn't do it. I, I don't. I want to see what the, I, I'm. I want to get more into this. I want to see what what's the memory on this thing. Let me see. So let me get to it. So let me open up another one. Let me see. Moto Pure. Okay. 
Okay, we're about to get about to get to the real detail of this thing. Okay. So it is running a 720 16 pixel resolution. Okay. Uh 13 megapixel run it, it can shoot at 1080p, which is good. It has three gigabytes of RAM. Ooh, a Helio Tech processor. Okay, guys. Um, for you guys who don't know this, it's not looking so good. <laughs> Um, it has a micro. It does support micro SD card. It does have 32 gigabytes of internal storage, so that's. I mean, that's good. I mean, if you run out of memory, you can transfer over your videos or pictures or music, something like that. It has a front-facing 5 megapixel camera. Okay, rear-mounted fingerprint sensor. Okay, so it's it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I me personally, guys, I went and um. I I mean. I this wouldn't be the phone for me. You know what I'm saying? Just to just to put that out there. It does look nice, but you know, we're going back to the days of Metro releasing phones at a 32 gigabyte of storage, which is not in my in my case, it's kind of like one of those throwaway phones. Like I mean 32 gigabytes of storage. I mean really, I mean I I don't even know where you can find a 32 gigabyte of phone right now that just came out. And people are throwing around like it's like it's the thing. Cause I mean, right now I think sixty four is is the the bare minimum storage that people actually want. So yeah, that so that in my case that's that's what I see. Um yeah, I that phone I'm if you are just somebody who really just don't wanna who really don't use the phone, that is really just a phone for you right there. But I mean it's a lot of people who use a phone for different stuff. So I would have to give a thumbs down on that phone just to be real with you guys. I don't recommend that phone. Really, I really don't. Now, here is a phone that uh, I want to talk about. This is called, for the first time that I have saw Metro PCS put out there, TCL20XE. Now, this company is really good. I have had some TCL phones in my day, and they are really good. I mean, the the the, the tricks and... The stuff that they put inside the phone to make it run is really good. I do rec I do really recommend this phone. Um, now, it's one thing I'm going to get to that I do not like about this phone, and we're going to get to that, to that in a minute. Getting back to it, now this phone looks really nice. And um, like I said, it's, it's called the TCL20EX. It has a 6.5 inch screen, HD+, 13 megapixel triple camera, three cameras on the back. Now, I don't know if they're all 13. Has a 5,000 milliamp battery, um, powered by a 2.2 um, optical core processor. So that's pretty cool. It has a, uh, a rear mounted fingerprint sensor and face recognition. So that's so that's real good. Um, let me see what else we can say about look. What else we can say? I, I want to get into these cameras and see what these cameras are all about. See what they're they're all about. But get into some more specs. It has the V-notch on it. It has 32 gig, gigabytes of internal storage. Okay, which is, it's all right. Um, when you, after, you know, down the downloading, you get 21. So, mm. okay. Um, it does support SD card, which is really good. It does run Android 11, which is really good. Now, um, let me see what this thing is called. It get to more detail because Metro PCS is not putting a lot of out there on it. 20XE. So let me see what this thing is all about. Ooh. TCL 20X. Sorry, guys. It's trying to... Oh, XE, XE, XE. So I'm trying to uh, make sure I'm getting this getting this phone right, so I can give you a better specs on it. Okay, so get into the 20 XE. Okay, it's actually no information on this phone. So wow, that's that's crazy. TCL 20 XE. Okay, it's really no information on this phone. So that's the first time that I have actually not saw no information on this. Let me see TCL 20. XE. Okay, here we go. Here we go. GSM Rena didn't have it, but why not 
I should have did it like I did in the first place and go right to the source. So I went to TCL, looked this up. This phone is looking really nice. I, I do like the look of this phone. It does, ha it does have a, you know, you're going to have a rear fingerprint sensor on the back of it, but it does look clean. It has a grayish look to it. Um, it does look really nice. Um, now, don't get discouraged about the 32 gigabytes of storage. Like I said, TCL is pretty good. Sometimes you can put an SD card in that and it will combine itself to the internal storage, will combine itself to the SD card, to which makes it have more memory, which is one of those. It has a vivid cinematic experience, and I do believe that because TCL does not play. Their screens look beautiful. I have saw some of their way cheap phones, and they look very, very much, you know, um, high rich, um, that, if that makes sense. Looks ri richy rich. Um, it says speedy, uh, a speed and power you need. So that's really good. It's really, really good. Okay. Okay. So get into the camera. It has a two megapixel depth camera, a 13 megapixel high, uh, um, rest camera and has a two megapixel micro camera. So that's pretty, so that's really good. That's really good. I don't know about the front facing camera on here. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, it has a two. Wait, no. No, that's not the front. Front. I'm trying to see what they have in the front. Okay, I can't see nothing on with the front of it. But um, yeah. So anyway, so guys, I wanted to talk about these two phones coming out from Metro PCS, the Moto G Pure and the TCL 20XE. Both of these phones are really good phones. I do not. I wouldn't recommend this phone to. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this phone uh, for the Moto. Power. I wouldn't recommend it. I just think that it's 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 even though it's free, I don't think it'll be worth anybody's trouble. Now the TCL, I would probably take a little chance on it just to be real with you guys. But um, that's that's my opinion. Your opinion might be a little bit different, and um, that is what it is. So you know what I'm saying. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more. All right.